Hey y'all. <laughs> Whoo. Okay. Today I am doing another treat box from trytreats.com. Um, I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, I recently did a video on um, Indomie Migarang noodles. And if I'm not mistaken, this box is going to be from Indonesia as well. Um, I was supposed to get a box from Greece. Uh, y'all, some of y'all on my Twitter, um, hungry fat chick underscore, uh, know that I did a poll and Greece won. But unfortunately, when I uh, got the message to the treats, uh, the tri treats people, Greece, they, they were out of boxes from Greece. So they gave me another little list and I, I picked Indonesia. Um, so here we go. Let's see. Oh, let me show y'all the box. Let's see. Hopefully, <laughs> is it backwards? <laughs> it shouldn't be. Maybe I have it mirrored. I don't know. But anyway, it's a pretty box. Pretty blue box. Trytreats.com. Mm. Let's see. Let's open her up. And get inside. Yes. Okay, now if y'all go on over to trytreats.com and get ready to order a box for yourselves. Um, I'm not 100% sure what they run, but you know these uh, treat boxes and snack boxes and whatnot. They're, they're fairly reasonable. They're subscription boxes. Um, the coupon code to get one of these boxes at a 15% off discount is Hungry Fat Chick. One word, Hungry Fat Chick. Um, yeah, 15% off discount. Y'all go get you one. <laughs> All right, let's get in. Let's get in this box. Yay. Uh, Oh, oh, let's see. The postcard that came had a couple of treats listed on it that they didn't have available. So I'm not even going to mention those. So hopefully, um, let me see. I'll keep this out so that I don't um, confuse myself when I'm digging into the box. Let's see, and I got my, my trusty reading glasses ready. <laughs> uh, ooh, it looks like they got some interesting goodies. I'm going to keep that handy because uh, I like to read off what kind of stuff they sent me. <clears throat> hmm. um, oh, they were replaced. Okay, so they had three unavailable, but then they... They had three replacements, so, ooh, dry, one of them's dried banana, one of them's something with coconut, and one of them's with chocolate, so, ooh, you can't go wrong with those things, so, I'm going to keep those available. Okay, ooh, Indonesia. Oh, it's such a pretty, pretty place. Mm, let's see. Let's see, let's try not to get, get my light, uh glaring on the card too much so y'all can see that picture let's see i don't know much about that temple but let's see pura or pura ulan danu braton braton bali indonesia Ooh, bali i've heard of bali let's see this month's treats came from indonesia Located in Southeast Asia, Indonesia is an island country famous for its breathtaking beaches and temples. Indonesia is composed of <coughs> I'm wheezing y'all, sorry. Composed of 13,677 islands, which make it the world's largest archipelago. And with population 
with a population of 260 million people, Indonesia is the fourth largest country in the world. Wow. That is pretty amazing. As you explore your box this month, you will find some of the most popular and interesting traits from Indonesia. For example, iced tea and candy are two words you don't often hear in the same phrase. But the idea to make iced tea candy um, by Bali's Best was brilliant. Chances are you've never tasted anything like it. You will also find treats like seaweed flavored potato chips, mini wafers filled with chocolate, delectable cheese crackers, and more. Get ready to discover the best of what Indonesia has to offer. We hope you enjoy. Hmm, and treats tea. Excellent. Let's see, explore Indonesia. Indonesia facts. You know, I'm talking a lot, but at least this food's not gonna get cold on me, right? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna need my glasses now. This print's a little bit small for me. Okay, let's see. Population of Indonesia, 250, no, two, okay, that, it's still a little small. 266,794,980. Um, hmm. Language Bahasa, Indonesia. Landmass. 1,919,443 square kilometers, uh, capital Jakarta, climate tropical, uh, government type presidential republic, mm, uh, GDP um, 5,200, um, and they just have a dollar sign. I don't know if they have dollars or not. <clears throat> or what kind of money they use exactly. Let's see, national holiday. Why is that day? Hari Raya Puasa? Oh, y'all forgive me if I'm mispronouncing those things. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Let's see, did you know Indonesia is the only place in the world to see Komodo dragons in the wild? Oh, Komodo dragons are very interesting creatures. Mm. Yeah, uh, they uh, if they if they bite their prey, they can follow the scent for for miles. Uh, and it um, it uh, festers or whatever. And uh, whew. yeah, and then they're able to capture their prey and whatnot. It like makes them sick. Let's see, the world's largest flower. Um, Raphalesia. Oh god, I still can't see. Arnoldi weighs up to seven kilograms, fifteen pounds, and only grows on the island of Sumatra, Indonesia. Mm, okay. Bara Budor, Budor Temple in central Java is the largest Buddhist temple in the world, decorated with 2,672 relief panels and 504 Buddha statues. Java is the world's most populous island with 2014 with a 2014 population of around 139 million people. Oh my goodness, can you imagine that many people on an island? And it must it must be a large island. I don't know. I wonder how big it is. Let's see. Indonesia has the largest Muslim population in the world. Wow, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Very cool. Oh, and there's a recipe for Nasi goreng, an Indonesian fried rice. Very cool. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know if y'all could see that well. Hopefully, y'all could see it well enough to pause and 
write it down. I don't know if it focused or not. If it didn't, I'm very, very sorry. I can't see very well without these glasses or with the glasses on. Mm. Supposedly the autofocus on this camera isn't great, but to be honest, I couldn't tell you because <laughs> I can't see that far. All right, let's see what we have here. Let's see. Can't see with them, can't see without them. Well, I can't see with them on, but I can't read without them very well. Let's see. Dark chocolate cookie thins. Mandy's. Mmm. Thin and crisp with a sprinkle of sugar. Okay, let's make some room here. Oh, I should have got scissors, shouldn't I? Hmm. But let's see, let me use my teeth. I could do that. That works. Let's see. Oh, they're broken. I don't know why, but a lot of these snacks sometimes come broken. It's not bad though. Mmm. Mmm. A cute little wafer. See if I can find one in there that's not broken. Mmm. Mm hmm Very thin wafer. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Dark chocolate. Mm. Mm. napkins from my previous mukbang. I'll keep those handy. Hmm. Okay. Dark chocolate cookie. A little bit of sugar. Very good. Mm. Mandy's cookie thins are cookie thins made from real chocolate. Rich in taste and crunchy in texture. These cookie thins are perfectly complemented with coffee, hot cocoa, or ice cream. Ooh, they would be very good in ice cream. Uh, like sprinkle on top of some vanilla. A nice French vanilla. Ooh, yummy. Mmm, okay. Okay. Let's see, here's the package. Sorry, I should have showed y'all the package before I opened it. I'm sorry. Hmm. Mm. Let's see. Let's set up petites. I'm wondering if this is a DSLR camera. Um, because it, it looks like it's mirroring things. I wonder if there's a way I can fix that or change it. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't turn out mirrored when I edit it we'll see because uh the video i shot of uh hungry hippie doing his ramen didn't show everything mirrored but i don't know we'll see dulcetto petites chocolate wafer bites okay that must be a uh -oh. uh, no it's not Okay, here they go. Wafer bites by Dulcetto are bite-sized chocolate-filled wafers made with all-natural ingredients. They are crispy on the outside and creamy on the inside. And for something different, put them in the freezer and enjoy them as a frozen treat. Um, okay. I'm going to get lipstick on it, but I don't care. Um, Susan might taste a couple of them, but... More than likely, it'll just be me. Um, Tommy, Hungry Hippie, he might come up and grab a few too, but 
Um, normally these boxes are left to me over the next couple of days. Um, sometimes I finish them, sometimes I don't. Um, but I normally love everything that's in them. They're very tasty. Um, oh, how cute! They're so tiny! <laughs> little bitty cute little bites. Mmm, also, that reminds me of, uh, reminds me of caramel, but it says it's chocolate filled. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, okay. Mmm. Mmm, nice chocolate. Mmm. One more. Mmm. Oh, oh, yummy. Mmm. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, okay. Mmm. Oh, I like it. Oh, now that. Oh, little packaging. Oh, man. Now this. Lottie, Lottie, since 1979, let's see, I was, I was seven years old, let's see, butter coconut, Butter coconut sweet biscuits. Okay, let me see if I can get my teeth on these. Yeah, I, I probably would have thought about the. Oh, these are broken up a little bit too. And it's probably shipping. And um, shipping companies are so rough sometimes. Mm. And these things are so delicate. Let me get all the little bits of this top one out. The next one doesn't seem to be broken. I might break it trying to get it out there. Mmm, they're tasty. Mmm. Oh, coconut biscuit. Mm. Okay, that's one of the ones that was replaced. Butter coconut by Lati. L O T T E. Lati. Hmm. Mm. Come on. Yeah, I spent the last. Oh, that one broke up too. Aww. Well, mm. y'all know those captain's wafers, crackers? That's kind of what they look like. Mm. <laughs> mm. That's enough. Mm. 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 <clears throat> mm. 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 The coconut flavor isn't overpowering though, so it's not bad. Mm. Oh, to get back to what I was saying though. Um I am um, I probably would have thought more about what I was doing here, but I spent the last hour trying to get the dog to come inside. And it was like every 10, 15 minutes, I would have to walk over to the door and call him. And he just stood there and looked at me. I mean, when I was sitting here, he would like bark, bark, bark. And, and he's normally kind of quiet. 
But he was like really insistent. And I get up and go over there. You know, come on, Roma. Come on inside. Come on inside, Roma. Come on, puppy. You can do it. You can do it. Good boy. And where that used to have him come inside, it's not working right now. It's just not working. Not until he's good and dang ready to come in. And, um, so he had me get up a good, like, six times, I guess, over the course of the hour. And, like, maybe five after the hour. <laughs> On that time, he just comes right in. <laughs> it's like, what made that one time any different than all of the other times I called him? I just don't understand. I don't understand. Okay. But anyway. So he's in the he's in the bathroom this time. Because last week we had an incident. Or last time I shot. And it it technically was last week. I was shooting a mukbang and I'd been putting him in my bedroom to shoot. And because of the situation that's not gonna work I can't I just can't open them with my hands anymore because of the situation I had with the uh, well <clears throat> while I was shooting the end of me me Rang video and he had already we, we had shot a video before the end of me video, I had shot a Hungry Hippie video. And he had gone out before I shot that video for Hungry Hippie. And, you know, he had been out an ample time to do his stuff. So there's no reason that he should have had an accident in my bedroom, but he did. So, if y'all watch the end of me me Garang video, y'all know the little bit of trouble that I had, you know, with him <clears throat> during the video. That he ran outside. He had just come in, and he pulled that, and he ran outside. So, he had plenty of time. He had plenty of time. So anyway, now he goes in the, now he's got to go in the bathroom. Okay, these are Selamat chocolate sandwich cookies. I really hope this isn't mirroring, but I'm kind of, <laughs> kind of afraid it is. Yeah, chocolate biscuit by Selamat. These kind of look like the, the wafers, too, the, the captain's wafers, but they have stuff in the middle. They have chocolate stuff in the middle. Um, are two crispy chocolate biscuits, which is basically European for cookie, that contain a creamy, dense chocolate spread in between the biscuits. They go great with coffee or tea. Okay, ooh, and it, it looks like they've got big either chunks of sugar or salt. It doesn't say what it is, but hopefully I can taste it. Mmm. 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 Well, I guess it's not just European, obviously, because, you know, Asian, <laughs> duh, <laughs> I guess Americans are the only people that call them cookies. It's a cookie. Yeah, 
added sugar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 Those cookies are a mouthful. Mm. You don't need many of those, that's for sure. Mm. A very nice chocolate flavor. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Oh. Mm. Am I missing stuff? Oh, wait a minute. Okay. No, I'm not missing stuff. They replace things. Duh. Okay. So I was looking for the seaweed potato chips, but they were replaced. So no seaweed potato chips. Mm. Okay. So I've got the Elsie or chocolate cake, which replaced something. So. I'm going to try that in place of the seaweed potato chips. Ooh, those would have been yummy, huh? Mm. But, who doesn't love chocolate? Mmm. Mm. It looks like an interesting little snack cake. And they have it alongside a nice little cup of tea. I love tea. Who doesn't love tea? Hmm. Oh. Uh, Thomas has been watching a lot of Korean street food on uh, YouTube and it's got egg fried sausage ham pork belly cheese <laughs> king toast on the TV screen it looks really yummy <clears throat> wonder what kind of street food they have in Indonesia but they have some really nice things. Mm. Okay, a little snack cake. Can you get to where my fingers, my little fat sausage fingers can reach you? Come here. Oh, now I'm dropping little cake bits. Such a little bit cake. Mm. Mm. Now there's not much I can tell you about those. Mm. Except for what I experience. Hmm. Got a nice cream filling. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, let me put that down and get my glasses on real quick. Let's see if I can read this. Mm. And chocolate flavored cake with white cream. It doesn't say anything else, really. The LC brand, layer cake flavored, well, chocolate flavored cake with white cream. Okay. Well, um, oh, it's so crumbly. It's very, very crumbly. I need to get little cake crumbs all over me. I don't want cake crumbs all over me. Okay. Mm. Uh, yay. 
Um, okay. It's got like a little, um, mm, trying to, mm, trying to decipher that flavor. It's, it's, <clears throat> it's not a very deep chocolate flavor, but, um, hmm. I don't know. I would buy it. It's tasty. Okay. I was looking forward to this when I saw it. Okay. These cheese crackers by Geary <clears throat> were replaced with this solar dried banana or solar dried banana by Jira, Jira porn. But I love banana flavor. <laughs> Which I probably shouldn't considering <clears throat> I almost died <laughs> as a child. Um trying to overdose on banana flavored chewable diet pills okay chewable diet pills who thought of that banana flavored diet pills chewable for children I was a little kid it was like candy. I had to pop my stomach. Banana flavor. <laughs> Me and diets. Around and around and around. Lord have mercy. So I should absolutely hate banana flavor, but I don't. I'm not such a fan of artificial banana flavor. But real banana flavor, I really enjoy. <clears throat> Let's see, was it the Netherlands that had a lot of banana flavored stuff? I think it was. Oh, Ooh. okay. Oh yeah, that is a natural banana. That is a banana. That is natural banana flavor shape. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm guessing being as it looks like an actual banana that it's going to taste like banana mm. 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 you know it's so much better like this when the, the dry banana is actually still, forgive me for saying it, but moist. You know, the, the banana chips, the dry banana chips, they're, they're good, but they have no flavor. This has a very, very potent, like pungent, almost fermented banana flavor. Mmm, that's like candy. Mmm. Oh, I could get behind that. Yes. <clears throat> that's a good sweet. Mmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's almost got like a little alcohol flavor to it. I like it. Yes. Okay, I saved all the candy for last. We had all the cookies and the little cakes and the even the little natural banana. Let's, see, let's try the Milkita <clears throat> Milkshake Candy by Milkita. Let's see. Our creamy light and refreshing candies made from real milk initially hard in texture they soften up once you begin to chew on them because they're made from real milk they're also a great source of calcium well <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> mm. 
<clears throat> as an aging woman, I'm 47, and if y'all didn't read it in the comments already and wonder why I'm so grumpy all the damn time, I'm perimenopausal. My doctor confirmed. <laughs> so I'm probably going to need all the calcium I can get <laughs> from my osteoporosis. <sighs> oh, nice. A little little Mikita, Milkita milkshake. A little vanilla milkshake. Mmm. I have a food right under that. Mm. No, it doesn't really taste like vanilla. It just tastes like milk. It doesn't say it's vanilla. Oh, it does. <laughs> vanilla shake. Sorry. <laughs> it says it right on the dang bag. Candy, are you blonde? I am blind. Mmm. I say delectable and comforting. And it's all American favorite. Well, oh, it's a product of Indonesia, though. Mmm. Okay. It says right there, product of Indonesia. Mmm. Let's see, delectable and comforting, this all-American favorite. Must be talking about the milkshake. Okay. Um, it's smooth and rich, like a thick shake from a frosted glass. <clears throat> Made from real milk, this classic flavor is not only delicious, it's also a good source of calcium. Wonderful. Okay. And let's see. Tina ginger candy. I love the flavor of ginger. Mmm, ginger is so yummy. <clears throat> Let's see, ginger candy by Cena is a nourishing and all natural ginger treat. Okay, I can't use my teeth on this. There we go. <clears throat> And this is one of the healthiest candies you will find because its main ingredient, ginger, is an herb that has traditionally been used to treat cold, stomach aches, and more. Well, wow. all right. Okay. Let's see. Let me um, taste it a little bit and then spit it out or I may chew it out. Not sure what I'll do yet, but oh, it's kind of broken up a little bit. Oh no, it's kind of kind of soft. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's got powdered sugar on it. Yeah. Ooh. Mmm. 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 Oh, that ginger spice. Mmm. A little tang. Far, that's my favorite. Mm. Mm, I'm pretty sure Susan doesn't like ginger. Oh yeah, she doesn't. And so when we get sushi, she always gives her ginger away to hungry hippie. He might try it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh man. Cena ginger candy. Mmm. Oh, that's 
swallowed a little too soon. Mm. Oh, wow. I can see where that's healthy. That is like, besides the powdered sugar, that's probably 100% ginger. Right. Let me see if I can see the ingredients even. How long is this video? 41 minutes. <laughs> Y'all are probably so mad. This is the longest unboxing ever. Only natural ingredients are used. Does not contain artificial ingredients. Brewed ginger tea the easy way. Ooh, it makes ginger tea. Drop two to three pieces of the ginger candy into a cup of hot water, stirring till completely dissolved. A cup of hearty ginger tea is ready. Oh, that sounds delicious. Oh, listen to this, y'all. Ingredients, cane sugar, ginger, 7%, tapioca starch. That's all it's got in it. So it's only 7% ginger, but the ginger flavor is extremely strong, so. Okay. Mm, wow, okay. Okay, so I only have one thing left to try, which is Bali's Best Tea Candy. Let's see, Ice Tea Candy by Bali's Best. Iced tea, candy, by Bali's Best are candies that taste like a glass of freshly brewed iced tea on a hot summer day. They provide instant refreshment any time of year. Each piece is individually wrapped. Okay. They're so cute. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a hard candy, but at least we're finishing up with this one, and I don't have to spit it out if I don't want to. Nice little candy. Oh man, I should get some of that ginger flavor out of my mouth. The ginger flavor is so strong. I'm gonna give the tea a chance. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, here we go. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That tastes like I just took a sip of sweet tea. Like a good cup of a uh, glass of southern sweet tea. Mm, nice and strong too. Mmm. <clears throat> wow. That is awesome. It's not not green tea, but black tea. Pretty sure black tea. Mmm. Or some type of black tea. But that's what you use to make a nice, nice uh, pitcher of sweet tea. Mmm. From leaf to cup to candy, our history is as rich as its taste. An ancient beverage savored for its rich, complex flavors. Tea has been enjoy, enjoyed for centuries in exotic lands. The natural tea extract that is used in our candies originates from whole green tea. Oh, it is green tea. I'll be damned. <clears throat> that is grown exclusively in the islands of Java. Mindfully hand-picked, our tea derives its fresh and lively flavor and light floral scent from the sultry Javanese climate and rich soils. The result is an exquisite candy that is 
exquisite candy that is perfectly balanced with the essence of the whole leaf tea. Now, I've had green tea, and this tastes more like the tea that I'm used to growing up. So, I don't know. It's just my, my palate's a little off, I guess. Hmm. Let's see. Glucose syrup. I guess that's to pull the candy together. But cane sugar tea extract, natural tea flavor, and salt. <clears throat> yeah, when you're making candy, normally you have to use a, um, like a I guess I, I've used k syrup. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that. Like a corn syrup or something to, um, pull the <clears throat> candy together. I, know, I haven't made candy in a long time. And I was never very good at it either, so <laughs> that's probably why. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Mm. Mm. But dang. So yeah, that tastes like iced tea. Oh, okay. Woo, that was a fun trip, y'all. Fun trip to Indonesia. <laughs> Whew. Oh, man. I'm so happy to get to spend a little time with you guys. And I thank you so much for joining me. And mm. <laughs> I will see you next time. Bye now.